Beloved ones, love is pouring in and love is rising up. Love is bursting forth everywhere. The occurrences in Paris are a call for more love, for the shift of misperceptions from ideas of us and them, to the true and deep awareness that love is all there is. Therefore, I am calling for your assistance, beloved ones, that you would hold the place of love as the only truth, the only power, the only reality of life, regardless of what eyes may see, regardless of what is playing out on the stage of the stories of the ego. It is imperative at this juncture that you hold the light. It may seem obvious to say this to you, but many need reminding. Therefore, I am asking you to keep the highest vision, to hold the truth and light of God I am, that as the pulse of life comes, the snapshot that it finds in you, of what it will create as it moves into the world, is a picture of love and awareness, an extension of the helping hands of God for all of humankind. I need you, beloved ones, to hold the vibration of truth. I need you to be that which creates the balance. I need you to be the conduit that brings love and makes it available, that love may transform the scenario, even the pain and drama. For in the presence of love, truly, there are miracles and there is joy. But how can there be joy in a situation such as this, you ask? There is joy in being the heart of God, in feeling the reality of love, in knowing that as you keep the highest vision, your focus is creating the new world, the next step, the next moment, the next breath, the next outpicturing of humanity. And nothing is more important than this, keeping the vibration of love, keeping your focus on me, keeping the truth in your energy field. Beloved ones, the miracle is this, that out of the seeming tragedy can come a new dedication to truth, a new awareness that the world is one. Boundaries and barriers and resistance to others always create more suffering. And that in this moment's choice for love, you take your power to hold the highest vibration, to be the clearest vision. You open the way for what is to come. That can be truly an awakening of love for all of humankind. Beloved ones, I have always asked you to hold the highest vision, to release the reactivity of the ego mind, to stand here in the center in your heart, to give yourself to me as a vehicle of love, to be that which brings awareness of the truth, to be the power of the heart to create anew. This is what you are here to do, that all those that have been touched by the occurrences in Paris can find the direction in which they need to go. Many are right on the cusp of passing judgment, of being angry, and yet they feel the opening caused by the tragedy. They feel a new awareness of their brothers and their sisters, a new deepening of compassion, a new impulse to outreach. This is where you assist me as you hold the vibration of love. As you look right through what is happening, you amplify the truth of love in each and every heart and consciousness, and tip the scale from judgment and reactivity for everyone into the unification that comes through being love, and the joy that comes from the outreach as the heart of God. Therefore, when you think of what is happening, remember to look with your heart, to feel what is really going on, what seeds are being sown for a new future. How many hearts are opening in a new way? And how powerfully is love being attractive, magnetic, creative, purposeful, and creating something new in the world today? It is a new opening that you can assist to grow into ever more powerful conduits for the truth of unity, and the awareness of one life, one world. There are many who focus on change only when the need is dramatic, and many, whose hearts can't open unless they are given a push. There are many who have turned away, believing what mine has told them. But something like what has occurred, pushes them off of their shelf, out of the normal routines and stagnation, and creates the opening of heart that can bring about transformation. You are here to support this new vibration, to hold them, beloved ones, in your heart and consciousness, and to lift them to me. I am asking you to be witnesses to the truth of love, to hold the highest vibration, to be the heart's opening, to be that which allows the shift from the drama of the little mind to the deep peace and inclusiveness of the heart of God I am. As you hold the highest vision, as you stand in the vibration of love, the magnetic power of your hearts, which is indescribable, can easily pull those who are awakening to new possibilities into the truth and into the space that the heart provides. This is a time where love can come in, 
where a space has been created for more. More possibilities for peace, more obvious inclusiveness, more shattering of the barriers created by ego, more awareness of love, more calls to be the outreach of God. All that I am comes into view now, and there is a purpose for this opening. I have said to you that the world has shifted, that humankind has turned a corner. And you would think that this would mean it would be smooth sailing. But, beloved ones, that's not necessarily the truth at all. Something has to bring that shift about. Right now it is being brought about by a change in humankind's consciousness, a new sense of purpose, a new feeling of being the awakening of love. There is a new awareness of possibilities and a new ability to feel what is real, what is moving beneath the surface, what is hidden from the mind, but what is always alive in the heart, and in many, is waking up. So come and stand with me as the power of love. Be the divine resonance that opens hearts by your presence. Be that which sees the vision, creates the living vehicle, becomes the powerful conduit for holding the space for change. Be that which witnesses the hearts and supports them. Many of course, are talking about tragedy, terrorism, fear, and everything that goes with it. But in that upheaval, there is an opening, beloved ones, that hasn't been available before. I need you to stand in the opening as the magnetic power of love. I need you to be the open heart of God I am, available in the world. I need you to keep your vision steady on the very highest reality of love, that nothing else is real. That love is all-sufficient and does prevail. And that every other imagining can be seen right through if you are looking with the heart. Hold the highest vision of humanity, beloved ones. Amplify the crack in the facade of the ego's dream. Be that which feels the power of love and opens up a conduit that all may feel it as well. Come into this moment as the blessing that you are, and be that which magnetizes every heart to the vibration of creative power, and the vision of unity and joy that is the reality of love. Change is here. It's in the wind and on the planet, and in your hearts and consciousness. You, beloved ones, are that which makes it available. You are the universal translator that speaks the language of every heart and consciousness, and makes available the reality of God I am just as it is needed for others, as you choose to hold the vision of only love. So that which comes to the screen of the little mind, as the unfolding of what occurred in Paris, all of this can be seen with the vision of grace. With the clearing of the debris of tragedy, comes the opening in the veil that provides direct and holy access to real love, that as the whole world turns their focus, miracles can occur. The miracles of seeing a brother in those named terrorists, of seeing the heart's truth beyond every dream, of holding the reality of one world of only love, and feeling how this opening now expands, that blessings, mercy, and grace are pouring through, touching the hearts of humanity and expanding the one consciousness that is humankind. All of heaven waits with bated breath to see what the focus of humankind will bring. To see what occurs with the next pulse of creation, when the power of life comes and pours into the world. What will you create, beloved ones? Of course, I know the answer. You stand for love. And in this moment that brings an anchor for every heart and consciousness in all the world. Keep your vibration high and look with your heart, right through the scenarios of the world stage, the stories of the ego. As you see with the eye of love, you will make love's connection, heart to heart to heart. The blossoming of the heart of humankind is supported as it occurs in this now moment, supported, amplified, and chosen to be the focus of your creative heart, to be the blessing of your outreach, and your love, and that which you share with everyone. Be it consciously or as energy, pouring forth the wondrous love of God, and recognizing the truth of what you are, the one heart amplifying love. The call for love has come, beloved ones. Please answer.